If you can clean your act, you have definitely done something good during these 10 best days. And Allah says, cleaning your act is definitely an act of worship. Allah loves it. I mean, turning to Allah. Consider your relationship with Allah. Develop it. Subhanallah. Introspect. Think about who you are. Do you like the person you are? Do you like your relationship you have with Allah? Do you like that if you were to die right now, you would be satisfied with your deeds and what you're doing? If the answer is no, you can do better. In fact, we can all do better, inshallah. So become more conscious of it and build that relationship with Allah. This is Allah reminding us that everything you do, you will see. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, whoever does an atom's weight of good will see the good and whoever does an atom's weight of bad will see the bad we don't want to see that bad so what do we do seek forgiveness allah says we'll wipe it out completely if you've changed your life and don't be ashamed if you've changed your life that's what allah wants why do you think allah gives us ramadan every year why do you think he gives us these auspicious days and nights every year in order for us to reset our relationship with him to tap us on the shoulder and tell us it's time you turned to allah so my brothers and sisters be charitable remember to fast on the ninth at least like i said you may fast during the days in the run-up to the ninth but the ninth is the most rewarding. Similarly, you need to know on the 10th, it is prohibited to fast. Why? Because that's the day of Eid. It's the day of eating and drinking and thanking Allah. So you're supposed to be engaging in the dhikr of Allah during these days as well. What's the dhikr of Allah? Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Glory be to Allah, Praise be to Allah, Allah is the greatest, there is none worthy of worship besides Allah, O oh Allah, I beg your mercy, and so on. So we remember Allah. Also, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Walillahi alhamd. Allah is the greatest. Allah is the greatest. There is none worthy of worship besides Allah. Allah is the greatest. Allah is the greatest. And for him belongs all praise. Subhanallah. To him belongs all praise. So to repeat that, especially on the 10th, the 11th, the 12th, and the 13th, that is an amazing act of worship. The days of tashriq. The days of tashriq are clear. They are the days wherein which we actually say the dhikr, the specific dhikr after every compulsory prayer. So you have the day of Eid and the three days after that, four days in total, those are known as the days of tashriq. You are not allowed to fast during the days of Eid. They are the days of eating and drinking and remembering Allah, but don't be wasteful. 